<clears throat> so I'm gonna pick up where we left off last. Uh, I don't, um, hopefully that you guys were able to catch the notes that we went over some um, Thanksgiving terms, you know, the dinner, dinner parts, you know, the food that we go over, especially when you sit on the table, you're saying uh, panim, a pass. Yeah, panim, pass me. I can't remember where we left off, actually, the, the last thing we did. John, do you remember? Yeah, so we, we had gone over a couple questions. Do you want some too? And do you want some more? Oh, yeah. Um, what khanam? Oh, yeah. That. We didn't yeah. go over that one, I don't think. Let's yeah, what khanam? I don't, I, I, I can't, I don't know what the breakdown of that word is, but khanam. Um, it's also, it's just like, do you want? Um, um, <clears throat> yeah, what khanam do you want? What khanam choose? What khanam choot? What khanam, uh, uh, even if, like I said, you can throw in English in there as long as you're using the word. What khanam turkey? What khanam potatoes? What khanam, um, instead of chew, she'll say chut. Um, that's asking, do you want a drink? You know, like um, maybe you have uh, some kind of. Um, Special, uh, special punch that you guys have that you might use. Uh, as it, and with um, with us growing up, we had we had that uh, we all had our, our little assigned duties. What we bring, what we bring to the table, what we what we provide to the dinner. That um, our parents kind of. Stepped aside a little bit and said, "Well, you're you're you can handle, you can take care of the turkey, you can take care of the ham, you can take care of the potatoes, you take care of the bread, you take care of the drinks. You no, know, just the basic stuff. And mom and dad will fill in the blanks right. and add in whatever. That's just how. Uh, that was a uh, what chut? Do you want a drink? You know, I said like if you're handing out sodas or you're holding up a gallon of juice." Even just water too. You want a drink? That chute is just refers to a drink. You want chunam turkey? Im chunam. An chunam. Im cha. An chunam. Do you want some? Do you want, you, know, you want, do you want some more? That's just, that's how I, I interpret those two. Do you want some? Im chanam na lapata. Potatoes and unchanam. We'll stick with the same word. Unchanam la patat. You want some more potatoes? Yeah, and a lot of the responses there are, are just a lot of yes and no uh, with these questions. They're not, you know, there's no, um, just trying to think about, you know, when they're, when, when sitting, we're sitting on a table, I'm thinking about who, how we all talk, how it's said. Um, it's like, um, we used to do this a lot at home. When we were younger, we used to get together, 
no a lot of potlucks and have we go to we meet up at Rock Creek and I'll be assigned things. You you bring the you bring the bread, you bring the juice, the de delegating things from different families. You bring this, you bring that. And um yeah, so it's, um, about three or four families that bring a bring a turkey, another three or four bring a ham, another ones would bring potatoes, however they want to make potatoes, you want to mash, um, just boiled, baked, you know, however, sweet potatoes, whatever they did, it was always they're all delegated. And I'm trying to think of what trying to remember how they would talk at the table when they're asking for things. And yeah, there was always just simple yes or no. E, chow, pumish responses to this there weren't no extravagant there weren't that big big um like e kickshash you know those those types of things it was just uh, e chow so um to go on to add on a little bit more to the food So the um, food um, um, list is, uh, I think we, we left out gravy. I know gravy is a big part of it, big part of the dinner. It's a sheesh. Sheesh is the word for gravy. Sheesh. <laughs> I was... Um, Joking around with one of the students because they were asking about Sunridge, was it two weeks ago or even last week? And I said, How do we, how, well, how would you say that? Said, Sheesh, the whole thing they're doing, whatever, whatever sounded, that's it. But you want to be literal, actually, you're saying gravy. <laughs> like, what? But yeah, you're saying gravy. That's the word for gravy. Sheesh. <laughs> um, Give me a carrot. Huh? Carrot? Give me carrot. Carrot. You initial la calat. La calat is a carrot. Um. Some of my aunts have actually teased me about, about this name too. They actually call, call me that because they're having fun with my Indian name. Alakalat, they call it Lakalat. Yeah, I'm not a carrot. <laughs> hey, don't put that in there. <laughs> I was just, I was, that was just a side note. <laughs> Carrots and we got um soyakpa. Soyakpa that soy soyakpa. Soyak soyakpa. P at the end. <coughs> soyakpa. That's the word for butter. Um, I don't know. Some some of you got we just um bread, ipach, Also, they got another word that's used too is ani. Ani, e. uh, the bread. Of, that's a word. Another word I've heard. And I think the 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 ones in the the, the valley they use the word. Um, they use a, either sapil or saplu. I've heard I've heard them say that kind of. That I, when I've heard when I've heard those when I've heard heard those terms for the first time here and asking when I asked for bread I kind of I was looking looking around for actually the, the cookies because that's actually what the what that word is a sapil and 
and the um, that's the the root cookies, root biscuits. Sapil, when they make make them, like when they, yeah, kind of. I was looking on the table. Like, Where? I don't see any. No, that's the bread. Oh, okay. People didn't tell me these things. <laughs> But ipah ani sapil or saplil, it's um, that's oh, so there so you know, are about three different uh, variations of um, or four, but not where what part, what language actually on that that way that they um, they use the bread so it, you know. Um, have that if you ever go anyplace else and they, you hear these terms when they're saying that, you'll have an idea what they're talking about. Now we're not kind of left high and dry. Like, what is that? <laughs> what are the, what are these guys talking about? Sapil and sapil. I don't see that. I didn't see nobody hand put them on the table and see them set it out. They're lying. Oh, any cookies? But I could take some bread. Yeah. I know I was, I was, uh, when I was logging on, I was thinking, I don't, I'm not, so, cause I'm, cause I'm hungry. I was like, I don't be talking about food. I know I got to finish up this food list and I make myself even more hungrier now. Dang it. But, um, yeah, so it's what I just wanted to get this, um, it is taken care of get this, uh, get this list out and some of these words, panim and what khanam, imchanam, anchanam. That way, when it comes time for, you know, when you get together, get, get, get with your families to practice using these terms, you know, panim, and what uh, khanam, that way, you know, your, uh, your families will get exposure to it too. Uh, uh, they'll, you know, maybe they'll, they'll, they'll take, they'll take that, take that, what you, what you, what you shared with them, and they'll use it on their own here and there. In the future, hopefully. Damien, Miss Salt, Ivanisha Sul. Yeah, Salt, there's, yeah, it's just, um, Sul, Sul is another one, it's uh, taken from just salt itself, Sul, broken English, salt, but also the uh, Katunash, another one, Katunash. Katwinash. Yeah. Katwinash. Tell me what pepper? Uh pepper. But but click. But click. But click. Uh, probably a lambda. A click, a click, a click, pepper, a click, um, we did salads, did pie, we did, we did bread now. Gravy. Mm. And that's just the, 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 these are just the basics. And the other, other than that, you got your other, if you, if you have your own, your own, like your own variation, your own dinner type things, you know, like your fish, your yamash, you know, your yamash. You have roots, you got roots. I even remember the names of the roots and uh, the berries. Um, because <clears throat> I I know nowadays I'm I'm seeing it here and there that um, a lot of people are are kind of against the whole Thanksgiving idea. A lot, of, a lot of our people across the country are are doing things different than what uh, what you know what history has done and what we're doing until this. 
till this till today. <clears throat> Given that you know what happened in the past, how this whole thing started. You know, myself, um, this is just my my thoughts that you know I'll, I'll continue I'll continue doing this this way. You know, is to honor honor the past. You know, in a sense that you know what what happened then. I'm turning into a, a positive that we're still here. You know, the history behind the real Thanksgiving, what happened, the whole you know, massacres and whatnot. But you know, regardless of what happened, that it, it, it didn't have any 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 effect that what they're looking for, that a lot of us are still here. We're still um, we have our families, we still got a lot of our traditions, we still a lot of our culture, and it's still here. So so this is just my my thoughts and my my opinion on it. Now, I understand that other people's you know express ex, expressions and their opinions on it. I, I I understand. I feel them. But I'm still gonna you know I, I still make turkey. I still bake ham and still do the happy Thanksgiving type thing. It was some just my way of giving thanks is that we're still here. You know, thankful that our elders still fought. You know. For as long as they did, and they're still, and we're still fighting, in a sense that we're um, getting ourselves out there more exposed now. I mean, we're not just having. I mean, even like right now, uh, our language classes are expanding out to to the schools. We got we got technology now. We're using to share share language, share our culture. <clears throat> I remember the discussion we had about. Traditions, traditional and cultural, some time back. My thoughts on that, you know, um, just like here, well, uh, Thanksgiving, the, the meal now that, you know, every, we all look to, all, we see in those grocery stores, turkey and ham and all this is, is, is considered a traditional food because we do, it's celebrated year round this time of year, every year. So the and so when we refer, refer to our own foods, the, the fish, the game, the roots, the berries, I would I would um, consider that our cultural foods. That's that's who we are. That's what that's what we're about. That's what we um, <clears throat> we feast on and we honor and we give thanks for it. We have a big big thing about it. We don't I don't think we feast turkey. Um. I'm, I'm, I mean, we we would, you know, our turkey is not is not left out. Actually, it's actually in our, it's there. It's not a, but it's. Just, I say I don't, I don't think it's. I, I don't know. I don't know the history behind it, but it's just. I don't think it's uh, really feasted on, on like it was, like the ducks and geese were. Uh, listen, that's just my opinion. That's just my thoughts. Take it as take of it as you will. But um, just thankful that we're still here, we're still going, we're still thriving, we're doing the best we can with what we have. Uh, let's see: salt, pepper, uh, bread, butter, um, gravy. What else is left out? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm left leaving something out. What else? What else is there? We got because we went over salads, you know, over the stuffing, you know, over the, I'm not sure if there's anything left out. I think this is just the basics, the basics. Unless you guys got something. Mm -hmm. Cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, we went over that one. Uh, tamalunu. Oh yeah. Tamalunu. That is cranberry, cranberries, or cranberry sauce. You know, however, however, uh, however you want to um, say it or refer to it, translate it. Uh, name tamalunu, you know, pass the cranberries or cranberry sauce, whatever. It's just how, you know, it's just like, um, um, Now, take of it as you will. So the, the, those types of things, you know, it's like, you know, the different, the different, like the colors, different shades of colors, you know, different types of blue, 
in types of green, yellows, reds. Uh, we, we don't, we don't, we don't go that far into the names. It's no, it's red, right? Red is red, blue is blue, green is green. I'm not gonna get that that deep into the, you know, different shades and naming them. It doesn't mean it can't be named. I mean, it's like uh, cranberry sauce. You know, it's, I know you, that, 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 that the, the whole word for sauce can be actually added, can be made into a word. I wouldn't know how to go about it. Um, It'd be almost like a... <laughs> yeah. I know, doubtless, could, 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 it be, could it be referred to as a, like tomalun and mishish, like a, like a cranberry gravy. Uh, I think shish, I think shish is... Um... It has its own. <clears throat> has its own place. Yeah, because um, because of that old, um, you know, when you listen to those old recordings when those old men are singing, mm -hmm. uh, they 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 say shishi, shishi, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and I think it. I'm not sure if that if it implies gravy or if if that's another way of. Uh, implying like a, maybe a soup or something because I think um, I think that song they sing for that when they see that uh, shishi shishi wash it and I think it implies a soup dance but uh, shish mm -hmm. um, tamaluni so um, so the, the tamalun tamaluni Tamaluno? Yeah. What is that? What is that? Uh, cranberry. That's what it's called, huh? Yeah. Oh. This word is uh, actually fairly new. It's actually um, brought together from uh, students from the class of 2014. When they were, so it goes back probably about 12, 2012, 13. Huh. So tamalu is this is it's just taken from how it's how the cranberry is um uh how it grows. You know, it's in the water, has those the cranberry ponds. You see it, we've seen it, they see it from the ocean spray commercials. You know, they see them in the, the cranberry ponds. Yeah. And uh that new was just taken from like um uh from like we knew. So we put, we, uh, put that together, tamalunu, you know, the, the almost like Im the immersed berry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, so it's just fairly. It's a fairly new term. That's. That's um. For for that for that um, for that uh, that berry, the cranberry, because we don't have we didn't we don't have we don't have it, it doesn't grow around here. So it, there were students were cramming their brains or working with them how the how it all how it all looks and what you know what's what's all part of the cranberry. So we, so that word was made with the class. Uh, John, that uh, I needs to turn it to a U. There. Yeah, so tamalu, tamalunu, would be uh, the word for cranberry. E au nisha nishuata nikunisht akhwe tsaat painish. When at the subsequent mayo. Oh, it. Boomish, boomish. I got to get ready for my next class. So I'll see you guys again. Good to see you, Tchamkilislaku. We will it.
I mean, last time we talked about Shapapunkani, the pie. Yeah. How did you talk about specific types of pies, like pumpkin pie, apple pie? Um, yeah, apples. Apples, me. Apples. Apples, me. Yeah, apples, me. It's um, Shapapunkani. Apples, me. Apple pie. And you got, um, <laughs> yeah, there's this, um, Shapkulakai, uh, Shapkulakai, Shapkulakai in me. It's pumpkin pie. And then you got um, we'll go with this uh, first term that some of them, they use uh, Tmishwakush 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 me And some of will it will take the um we'll take we'll use the actually uh, take it straight from English. Let's say chillish. Chillish me. Chillish. And that's because we have no R's in our language, that R's would turn into L's. Chilish is taken from that's just taken from um, English. Chilish. Um, I don't know about peach. I don't know. I don't know any words for peach. It might be one. I have no idea. But you got will and me. I know, a lot of, I know a lot of families got their own pie makers and they, and they you know, huckleberry pie is a, it's a main staple for a lot of families. It's, No, nope, no peach, no word for peach in here. Some, I can't remember the name for it. Um, yeah, it would be like that, peaches. Peaches, peaches me. Now, now these these terms are just, this, this especially this one pichas me. That was um, that was actually from my own cutla. Uh, she say uh, peaches. That's from my that's my that's from my own memory bank. She would um, it's her her word for for pichas. Um. Ah, there was another one too. Um, we're just going. We're we're, we're um. Uh, 
Ah, oh, jeez, I forgot the name of it. Um, we're going. We're we're doing a presentation with um with Sunridge Middle School with our two language classes, and we're talking about we're going to be doing a little um, five minute presentation with them. Um, you know, shadow puppet presentation going over a brief story of creation. Um, first man, first woman, got a narrator already. You know, some students already taking parts. It's going to be a, um, um, talking about the how the how the lot of the food order, some brief food order, how the animals and the foods came to be. When uh, they took when they when creation was spoke to take care of the man and woman, you know that their duties and their jobs. Uh, what what they say to say to each other, and we went over went over a big list big list that we've been the all the Waikanash and the uh, Awinat Khnit and Tmanit, and I forgot the name that they use for um, like the the raspberry the blackberry, all the ones that looked that looked that I have that I forgot the name that Dad shared. And that's I don't have the list of it with me now because I know some someone got uh, blackberry pie or raspberry pie. Me, I'm a raspberry person, so it's just yeah, a lot of these terms in here are um um the same. They are you can say one or the other, you know, Panim, Panim Shapa Punchani. Or then they say, which one? Uh, apples or Tmish, Chilish, or Wilnu, uh, Pichas. Um, I have Shachat Shachat for uh, raspberry, the black cap raspberry. Shachat Shachat. Hey. Yeah, that's the word. And the, those ones actually share that share that name because they look um, uh, even the blackberry now now share that name because they look similar. Uh -huh. Yeah, so shachat shachat. Shachat shachat. Shachat shachat me. What type of blackberry? Yeah, it's a, it's a blackberry also, depending on what the, the pie. Mm -hmm. it share the, they share the same name. Shachat, shachat. Trying to think, what other, what other pies do we have? Shachat, shachat. Apples, shapa, shapula kai. Mishwakus. Pichas. I think it's pretty basic, isn't it, right there? Like the base pies. No, fruit pies, anyway, that is. I don't even know. I don't even know how to get into the cream pies. I just don't know. <coughs> yeah, I, I I don't know if any, if any of them actually made pies out of them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um. Yeah. Sus oh yeah, suspan. You know about suspan. I don't. I I don't know about any of them. Um. Uh, actually made. Mm -hmm. I don't know any good. I haven't seen a strawberry pie in years. Uh, cha, yeah, mish. Um, cha and twish are the same, but about the same. Just that cha is darker, really dark. Got almost like a color of a huckleberry, really dark, but they got seeds. Yeah, cha, shnim. 
syahat 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 kula kula khun khnin matib wiunu matib makes a good pie we tried one the a while back it was really good really yeah uh, who made that donald's wife peggy really it was good i haven't tried it yet i i i still got a jar of matib jam i haven't even cracked into it i'm i'm afraid to eat it all at once <laughs> 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 things like that it's just you no know, um yeah i don't i've never i don't see anybody actually going up and gather matib anymore and that little i this a small it's a small jar a small little jar of matib jam i got from uh say mary mary craig mm-hmm. that that lady that goes around digs oh, around mary there. mary keith mary keith yeah keith yeah. mary keith yeah she was had she would, i don't know she came she she had a bunch of handing out here at one year so uh-huh. so my dad's asked if i still had had mine said yeah <laughs> you leave it alone i know you eat all yours <laughs> Yeah, so that but tip, yeah, just be being, being really stingy with it. But yeah, my tip that I still have yet to try it. Yeah, uh, we'll know that we'll lose, we'll lose. Yeah, they're small. We'll lose, we'll lose. Hmm. Yeah, so I gotta, I gotta try that out. That sounds good. Matip, matip me. Mm-hmm. Elderberry, elderberry pie. Matip. See, I think that pretty much does it. <clears throat> and as yeah, as far as I uh, continue on with um, language learning and learning language speaking, actually, it's just I just encourage that uh, you use to still use the same same things over and over and over. You know, Mishnah Ma, Mishnah Misha. I'll continue on with those those types of questions, Mishnah Ma. And I I had this really strongly encourage my students here when they're doing their scripts, doing their dialogues, that um, add feeling to it. Don't just don't just just read it. You know, okay. add feeling to it. You know? Just like how we did that one with that. Uh, we're telling someone, "Dach <laughs> yeah. Add feeling to it. It's we're we're not we're not Ben Stein here. <laughs> we're we're not monotone. No, just no. Mishnah, Mishnah, Mishnah. My name, Mishua. No, how is your? Um, yeah, so I, that's so. My knee is all only time I when you say my name, Mishua. No, how is your? No, that's where that's where it really. Um, how comes in? My name, Mishua. Because it doesn't, it doesn't, it it doesn't doesn't work well if you're saying mish mashwa, then that 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 mish turns into something else after that. Because mish namaz, how are you? Yeah, when you say mish mashwa, that's asking, do you have? So when you want to ask how, how is your? That's where the my name mashwa. Uh, let's see. Are there any questions on any anything else other than what we what we discussed? Um, I know this is a big old long food list. Given food list going from hungry people. No, <laughs> <it's> shush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> any got anything else? <laughs> Maybe you want to run to the bakery now and buy a bunch of pie. <laughs> I'm going to Sherry's for lunch. We got pie. <laughs> But um, 
Yeah, but are, are, are there any questions and you'd like any other phrasing that you would like to try and try to use at home other than what, what we have here? On how to maybe how to respond, any more responses? Because I know we asked a lot of, lot of yes, no questions and you know, you know, how, like, how do we say I'm going over here, I'm going over there, we are going over here, we're going over there type things. No, any type, any other, any type of questions that you that you have? No. So, um, yeah, it's open to any kind of questions that um, to anything other than what we have here. <clears throat> there aren't any other questions. I could ask something. So we've been using funam for passing foods, but there's other things you might want someone to give you at a dinner table, like. Pass me a fork. Pass me a napkin. Oh yeah, the, oh, the utensils, great. the utensils, the setting, the dinner setting, the actual setting. Yeah. So we got tikai. Tikai. Tikai, and that's a plate. Tikai. It's just a regular K too. Tikai. The plate. Tuksai, Tuksai, that's a cup. Tuksai, they got cool, 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 or cool. I think it's a uh, patasi, K, cool. That's a bowl. Um, Sukhas. Sukhas, the spoon. Sukhas. Uh, Pakwakawas. Pakwakawas. I think um, I think the first one pakwak is a regular K. Pakwakawas. That's a fork. Pakwakawas. Happy Shmi. Happy Shmi. It's a knife. Chapismi. I think it's a regular I. Chapis. Chapismi. It's a, it's a knife. Chapismi. And, um, uh, This is the term I've used, I've heard, it's actually just, I'm not, sh I'm not, dad's actually used, just in our home that we use for napkin or paper towel. You know, shapa quick stikawas. Shapa quick stikawas. The napkin, paper towel, yeah. Chapa quick stikawas. Mm. Yeah, so we got tikai, tuksai, kul, sukhas, pakwakawas, khapismi, and Shapa Quick Stikawas. Yeah, because at one time that took Sai, that was actually the a cup and bowl were actually shared, shared that name. Sai. 
Right. I don't know how, I don't know why. It was, um, <clears throat> and um, cool came, came to be. Like, oh, okay. Because, yeah, this, this was another one of my debates I had when I started the language program. I said, child, you know what I took sight? I said, no, you're wrong. There's a word for bowl now. I said, oh, well, let me know on these things. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, let's see, is there anything else out of the tape, the plate setting? Uh, even a chair, I saw us. I gotta make room, tell someone to pull up a chair, I saw us. Uh, I'd sell us as a chair. I'd sell us. So the, going through uh, with the word panim. No, panim tikai. No, pass the plate. Pass me a plate. Panim tuksai. Pass me a cup. Panim kool. No, pass me a bowl. Panim sukhas. Pass me a spoon. Panim pakwakawas. Pass me a fork. Panim khapishmi. Pass me a knife. Let's see. What was after knife? Uh, panim. Uh, uh, panim shapakwikstikawas. Uh, pass me, a, uh, pass me a, a paper towel or napkin. Panim Atsawas. I got a question. Yeah. So if you're saying like a, a bowl of, like a bowl of soup or something, do you just put like me, cool me, twite or? Or you just, then you would just um, say this, uh, Panim twite, you know, pass me the soup. Okay. Yeah, you just name off the food that you're asking for. Kumesh. Yeah, that's a, that's that's a that's a good really, really good question. You know, they'll pass me they'll put him twice. You know, give me or pass me pass me this bowl of soup. You know, if it's in a big bowl, or just you know, if you have them or just have them. You know, make make your bowl. That'd be the same thing. Put him twice. Can you give me a bowl of soup? That's how that so that works. Um, let's see, then um, let's say you, let's say you got visitors and they don't actually don't know what what to do or anything, or they just being polite and just waiting, you know, and, and they don't want to be rude and just start saying "panim." You know, we were also told this when we had guests was "anik." Anik, you know, give them. Or give him, actually. You know, how, how, however, it, just, it was just always Anik. Give him or give them Anik. It depends on what the, yeah, her, him, them. Yeah, Anik. Anik tikai, we'll give them a we'll give them a plate. I think if I might that might be even a. That might, but that might even. I'm not sure. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask, ask the man too. Maybe we'll, hopefully, if Fred walks in soon, if that even that phrase "anik tikai" would actually mean like make them a plate. 
I might be, I might, I might be in the same, same thing too. I need to kite, like make them a plate. So you're, you're, and she put a bunch of food in there. You give it to them. I think uh, you're the one handle, handing out the food. And it might be uh, make, make them, make, make him or her a plate, make them a plate. Maybe, I'm not sure. I just want to make sure I'm, I'm saying that right. A lot of the, lot of the things were um, commands. So yeah, we were getting, getting scolded. And I, we, just, we just knew it as, you know, so we just gave him a plate. And was, so we catch hell for, we just give him an empty plate. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> I want to make sure that this does also mean like make them a plate. You know, you got visitors. You want always got to take care of your visitors first. So that might, might be the same thing. Make them a plate. Give them a plate. I know it's. I know it's. Give them a plate. Anik, give it to them. Give it to him. Give it to her. Anik tikai. Give him a plate. Now it goes all the way down too. This all. This all your uh, all the anik. All those things that they, you're, you're passing out, you're giving out the, um, uh, and it took side, you know, give him a cup. And it goes, this goes all the way down, all the way down, all, all those things. Even it goes on, with, even with all the food, you see someone sitting there, they're, um, you know, you know some visitors that, that you run into that, you know, they're really shy or kind of backward. They don't want to, um, I don't know, they, they, they see it as they don't, they don't, they don't, they, they feel like it's not their place to be asking for anything at the table. So we're told to uh, hand them the food, you know, anik, you know, give them the, whatever certain food that they, and they just give it to them, and they can once they have it, they can do whatever they want. They can sit down, set it back down, or they take from it. Anik. Um. And then, what would you call someone like that? Like what? It's shy, doesn't want to take things that are offered to them. Is there any word for that? Or even how would you say shy? Shy is um, I think I think the word for shy is uh tuya. Tuya. Two A, two A's tuya. I think the word for shy. Yeah, it'd be the one, one for that. There's some people are really shy. I can relate because I was I was that way. Going to visitors' houses, <laughs> even my own house, even my own, own family's houses, I go there and I'd still be shy about it. Because I don't know, it it seemed weird that you know their their visitors let them come and eat first. I thought, well, I thought we we're a family. Now I'm a visitor. <laughs> It's because when they mention things like that, I'm looking around for somebody that, that's not really related. Ones I know, so I'm looking around. No, they're talking about us. I thought we were a family here. Now I'm, now I'm a visitor. Make up your minds. But yeah, I was, I was actually this way a lot in my, my younger years. It wasn't until, let's say, my mid-teens I finally started being more um, comfortable being around people by myself or just being without being you know, quiet to myself. <clears throat> I'm trying to think. So more to this, more to this. Now, as far as, you know, as, um, 
meals go and things. Um, this is uh, be right out there, and it's not this. And this is this not just works for sitting at the table. You know, these terms, panim and anik. Yeah, Anik was was a big one growing up. You know, you know me being the oldest, I'm always I was always harassing my younger siblings, taking their taking taking their toys away and taunting them with it. So Anik was a constant one I've always heard growing up. Anik, Anik, how? Give it to him, or that way he'll stop crying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was I was bad for picking on my picking on my younger ones. I still do from time to time. If there if there are any more any more um, any more any more um, things you guys want to go over or talk about Friday, because I know. Um, uh, Fred canceled out on tomorrow because our offices are closed, but I will still be here Friday. We'll uh, office back open Friday. You guys have time. You guys will come back Friday. Same, same Zoom time, same Zoom channel. <laughs> if there are any, any anything else that um, that you feel can be used that you want to start using and can start using. That um, <clears throat> but you can, um, I'll do the best I can to find more to to give it to you the information you need. Um, understanding some of these things, some of the, a lot of the, a lot of the like, speeches I hear people say are are. You know they're making testimony about, you know maybe it, maybe our way of life. It's kind of hard to um, myself to actually translate. I know what the word. I know I understand what they're saying, but how are they trying to make a, give a definition to some of the words? But um, it's like every everyday talk. You're talking when you tell a story about you know what you did last, um, last week. Yeah, so if there's any more any more information that you guys want to know and want to learn, learn to use, let me know. I'll think about it uh, today, the rest of the day, tomorrow, and we'll meet back up again here again fr uh, Friday. Uh, mm -hmm. I will I will be I will be here. Um, I know some 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 of some of my coworkers are taking Friday off. I know John is. That's fine. But um, I will. I'll still be here. I'll still make an appearance. I still got to be at uh, Sunridge. So coming back here Friday, it's no no biggie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if there are any more questions, I thank you for being here. Good to see you guys. Good to see you, Ticham Kilufla, and we Walatikpa. It's always good to see you guys. Yeah. And uh, yeah. and uh, Tun, yeah, same same for you. It's always good to see you. It's always good to and see you. <laughs> and um, so with that, I wish you guys a good a good rest of your day. A uh, good day tomorrow, and I will see you all on the Kinu Tamatash Pakap Pipa. Hey, hey, Kumish. Yeah, yeah.